Hello and welcome to a short video on using conditional formatting in Excel. In this tutorial we're going to look at the options available in the Improved Conditional Formatting feature. Conditional formatting is now found on the Home ribbon of Excel and conditional formatting is used to apply a set of rules to a range of cells on your Excel spreadsheet and basically when that is all achieved the formatting in that cell is going to change based on the rule. So, for example, if we have a value of over 2,500, we can make the formatting go red so that we can easily spot that it's over 2,500. The first thing we're going to do is to select the cells we want to apply the conditional formatting to. So I'm just going to select the cells here with my income values on them. I'm then going to go up into the conditional formatting drop down and in here there are a few options you can pick. The first option is to highlight cell rules. So this is going to go through and apply some formatting to a cell. When the said criteria has been met and these have been put into basic plain English, we've got a greater than, a less than for the numerical data. We've also got text that contains a certain value for text fields and we can also look at dates as well as using a date occurring feature. Should we want to use conditional formatting to highlight duplicate values, we do have a duplicate values option at the very bottom of the list. If the rule you're looking for isn't listed, you can click on the more rules button and you can then specify what tests you want to run within your rule. I'm going to apply a greater than rule to these cells and I can either type into here the value I want to test against, so I could say where is greater than 2500, and those rules will be updated into the new format. Alternatively, I could go and click on a cell that contains the value I want to go and look against. So I could click on to a cell and it will put the cell reference in for me. So if my testing value was actually in 017, then I can actually use that instead of typing in 2500. I'm going to go ahead and use my 2500. So I'm just going to add that into the box. You can then choose what formatting you want to apply when this rule has been met. So the default is light red fill with dark red text. If we click on the down arrow, we can actually go through and pick a preset option, or we can go to custom format, and within the format cells box, we can actually add a specific border color. So I'm going to add a purple outline to my border, and I might want to put a fill colour in on the cells, so I can click on fill. I can pick a colour for my fill. I'm going to go for a very light purple, and I can also change the font colours as well if I want to, by going to fonts and again clicking on the colour button, and I can pick a dark purple. So you're building up the formatting that's going to apply to these particular cells when the values are over 2500. Press the OK button, Press the OK button again and click somewhere else on your spreadsheet. And you can see some of these values are now in purple borders, light purple fill and purple text. If I change one of the other values to a higher amount, so if I change 300 to 2700, the formatting automatically changes and updates because I've set the conditional formatting on those cells. If I put the value back to a low value, the formatting will go back to the original black and white formatting as it isn't reaching the rule that we've set. You can build up the rules and apply multiple rules over a selection of cells. So we could go through the process again and highlight cell rules and say when there's less than a certain value or when it's between two values. Excel will then run through these rules as the process of conditional formatting. If you want to view what rules you've actually got turned on within this area of the spreadsheet, you can go into Manage Rules and it will show you any of the rules that have been set up. You can click on the rule and press the Edit button and actually change it. So if you need to make it into a different type of test, say you want to make it into a greater than or equal to rather than just a greater than, you can change that. You can also go into the Format button and change the formatting that is being applied to the rule. Clicking OK will take you back to the previous Manager screen. So that concludes this video on how to apply conditional formatting to an Excel spreadsheet.